Hi everyone. Somebody commented on my one of the previous videos that how you can change the background color of a web page every second. So in this video, we'll see how to do that. First of all, we need to create an index file. So let's create one. We need a basic HTML structure here. A style sheet at the top and a script file at the bottom. Script.js. We need a div element and just two buttons. It will be start. Just copy and paste it. And it will be stop. Let's give it an ID of start. It will be stop. Now create a style sheet here. Style.css. Select the div element. Display will be flex. Justify content will be center. And gap will be 10 pixels. Select the button element. Padding will be 5 pixels and 20 pixels. Save it. Open this file in the browser. So by looking over the layout, you already understood what is going to happen. When I will click on the start button, the background color will start changing randomly. And when I will click on the stop button, it will stop. So let's create a script file first. Select both the buttons. So it will be BTN start. Copy and paste. Let's make it stop. Add event listener to these two buttons. Event will be click for obvious reasons. This will be the event handler function. Just copy and paste it here. It will be stop. In one of my previous videos, I already explained how you can generate a random color. Let me copy and paste that function here. We are going to use this function later. So to change a background color, we are going to make use of document.body element and we'll set the background color property to this random color. Also to change it every second, we are going to make use of set interval method. So let's create a variable here, interval ID to store the ID of the interval. So on start, We'll call the set interval function. This will be the function which will run every second. Let's put thousand here. So document dot body style dot background color. And we'll set it to the color returned by the this generate random color method. Okay. To stop it, first we'll check if interval ID is defined. If it is, we'll call the clear interval method and pass this interval ID to stop it. Great. Now just save it, go to the browser, click start. You can see the color is changing randomly. You can stop it by clicking on this stop button. See, I hope you got the point how it actually works. See the next video. Have a nice day.